welcome to Excalibur Mining. In this video I'd like to go over an update on FPGA mining, a little comparison between the cost difference between GPU rigs and FPGAs. Also testing out the new microphone and appreciate your patience while we get this channel set up. We want to focus on experimental mining so please give us a suggestion on what you would like to see next. Before we get started, a few crypto channels like to show off their animals, so here's 10 seconds of goats. I also wanted to give a shout out to Red Panda Mining. Uh, he gave me the recommendation for this microphone on Amazon, so I can sound smooth like Barry White. And um, you can pick it up. I'll send a link. Um, so far, I'm pretty happy with it. We'll see if I get a few less complaints on the channel, which, you know, we're trying to get up to speed here. Um, it's a uh, Mayano AU PM420, but I'll leave a link. Um, it seems to be pretty decent and also i wanted to shill some merchandise but it's in a good way if you haven't heard ren panda mining who's just busting butt every day um he's gonna have a cub and you know 40 cents a day is not enough we need to help him out so um red panda mining shirts they're on amazon i'll put his link in the uh, description below but these things are comfortable you know the wife likes it you know it's it's a good shirt so you need to go out there and pick up a couple represent so so I do apologize we are going to be moving to a, um, a different office and so we're a little bit cramped here uh, for the next couple months but I did want to have a little chat about um, the theories behind FPGAs and such um, these guys are uh, the F1 Mini Pluses, as I'm sure most people know or have seen them. They physically do exist. And Black Miner and FPGA Guide do ship them out, and unless they're on holiday or something. Um, they're about $210 or so, maybe with shipping, just depends on the day. Now, a lot of people will have the argument, well, you can go buy a decent, you know, 1660 Ti, and that's true. <clears throat> and, you know, your power consumption on a 1660 Ti is going to be probably about the same, maybe like 100 to 125 watts, depending on what you're, you're mining. Um, also, these little FPGAs, you know, maybe they only can do four algorithms, so five, something along those lines, um, and they're using maybe 100 and 125 watts. But... Um, you know, theoretically, like for CKB, for uh, a lot of weeks, you were able to get, you know, at a dollar, you know, above a dollar, a little bit below a dollar uh, a day. Now it's obviously a bit less because the price changed. So, um, but then a new algorithm comes out or new coin or whatever project and, you know, it's back up in theory. There's no guarantees in mining, but it just goes to show you that with one piece of equipment, um, with a video card, you're still going to have to have the power supply, the motherboard, the operating system, install all the software. You know, I'm not trying to make an argument that FPGAs are the way to go, but as far as the dollar to dollar investment and the return, you know, it's something that is is you know decent to look into. Um, with me, you know, I like mining, so I'm going to try a bunch of different things and experiment with as many things as possible, you know, try to do it with the excuse of bringing content and, and help, you know, other people on the channel. Um, you know, I wouldn't put all my eggs in one basket no matter what you invest in. I mean, but this is not investment in advice. But just as a comparison for the mini, um, you know, that that is kind of my thoughts on that. So another point I wanted to make, and if you disagree or have better suggestions, uh, please leave it in the comments below. That would be great. Um, but just as a quick kind of comparison, um, just for those that are considering FPGAs and they just, you know, they look like ASICs and, you know, they're just, you know, they have a <laughs> bad taste in their mouth or opinion. Um, who knows? You buy it, it blows up, 
you know, you try to contact China and you're out of luck. It could happen. Um, you know, you're going to be kind of better off with GPUs just in a sense that, you know, it's a video card. You could repurpose it unless it's a like a P104 and you could resell it and, and then you also, you know, have a warranty maybe domestically if you're in the U.S., but just as a price comparison from what I've seen, if you go over here and you buy a six-card rig, you should buy them all. I mean, but that's, again, not, <laughs> not advice. That's just opinion. Um, but you have these rigs here, and you got a lot of components. You've got your power supply, motherboard, um, you know, processor needs to be fairly decent. Um, you know, you have to have better RAM for, like, you know, ooh, uh, M TP or those sorts of coins that you might try to mine. Whereas the F1 Plus, you'll purchase it and it's going to be you know around the fifteen hundred dollar mark uh, with plus or minus maybe sixteen hundred on the used market. And you're going to have to buy a power supply with a breakout board, and it's going to have to be rated for the the wattage that you want. And 240 is a lot better, which these things are auto-switching. So if you have, say, for instance, a 30-amp uh, plug in your garage for welding or something like that, you can adapt down to it. Um, this is, again, not electrical advice, but this will do the 1,200 watts or what have you if that's what it's rated for instead of downrating to 900, say, for instance, if it's on 120. So you have to read the label just because it's a... 1200 watt HP power supply doesn't mean that that's what you're going to get at 120 volts. So, but ultimately you can get this package and mine anywhere from $2 to $10 a day on $1,500, $1,600, somewhere in that neighborhood. And if you go and buy these cards, if you get them at a decent deal, you know, you're going to be at you know, maybe about a thousand dollars for the cards, and maybe you know six hundred dollars or so for the rest of the components. Just depends on where you buy it, um, and you know what what you're gonna you know, put into it. So, but comparatively, this can cost. You know, as far as wattage is concerned, they are roughly the same. You know, you can be around eleven hundred watts for a GPU mining rig. And this, uh, an F1 Plus with the three boards can be, you know, 800 to 900 to 1,000 watts. But I guess the point that I'm trying to, to get at is that this rig, you're able to access a lot more projects or coins. But in some respects, you have a lot more moving parts with a GPU mining rig. And depending on the day, uh, you could be mining... 30 cents, 34 cents profitability, where, you know, this guy is, generally speaking, recently, the last few months, averaging probably around, you know, $5 a day. So, and with that, if you don't like the particular uh, coins that you're getting, you can exchange them and, you know, have $5 worth of ETC or whatever that it is that you want to hold. So anyway, that's just kind of a comparison. Uh, you know, buying these things at $2,500 brand new and then waiting a couple of months to get them, you know, definitely stinks. But there's enough support on Discord and there's enough, you know, people that are having relatively decent luck with them that I think it's worth looking into whether it's the little guys or the big guy. There's definitely... Uh, market in it. Now, with the F1 Mini Plus, I didn't mention that you have to have a power supply of some sort, but it will connect to like something you can get off Amazon relatively inexpensively. Or if you're like me and you have a lot of these uh, other power supplies, you hook up one of these cables to it and away you go. So um, that's probably about it for that. So one of the other things I wanted to go over, uh, just as an update, um, you know, CKB, you know, the price is kind of dropping. Um, as of today's date, you know, pretty steadily, but, you know, it's still doing fairly well. Now, some of these other ones will pop up, like uh, SHA-3 or Nexus, and it'll, you know, look like it's for the day, you know, the most profitable 
um, whether it's a price uh, bump or you know more coins per um, you know hash rate so which is fine but when you go and chase these guys I've noticed uh, some issues so you know it'll even this uh, off hash altcoin or the profitability calculator here out of the UK either one they're pretty consistent but if we go over to say Nexus pool which was one of the pools that actually works for for Nexus um, as you can see my mining here for a couple of days with an F1 and an F1 plus I should be getting about 50 to 57 um, in excess but that's not always the case you know after a couple of days it says the last 24 hours my payout was 23 even though I'm hitting the correct hash rates there's been no interruptions um, it's just not really doing what, you know, it's, it's stated to perform. CKB, I haven't had that issue, but, uh, with these other ones, you know, it's, it's pretty, pretty random. So there's, you know, a high, higher profitability, but a higher risk. Um, if it's something that you want to mess with, but, you know, for me, consistency might be a little bit better right now with something that's, you know, like CKB or maybe even Cadena, but that's, you know, it just depends on, on what horse you're betting on so um, the last 24 hours you know it did start creeping up to 28 uh, in Nexus where you know down here it said the next 24 hours was going to be 50 which is what's estimated so I didn't really you know give it a week for it to climb up that far I'm not sure if it would but all of my transactions are pending here which I know it's not a great uh, amount but uh, still, I did go on Discord, and apparently they pay out once a week, maybe. So, um, I will update you guys and let you know on, on that particularly. If you've got a different pool or something that works a little better than this, I'd love to hear about it in the comments. So with that, I just wanted to do a quick update on you know, some of the things that I have found that work and some that don't. So, if... Uh, you're having issues or what have you feel free to leave that in the comments if you know you would like to have some other project or if something's broken and you want it figured out please leave that in the comments or let me know and um, so far I just wanted to show also with uh, CKB on two miners I have been mining solo mining off and on I'm pretty much uh, have an F1 plus and an F1 on there at the moment so we're getting about uh, 37 gigahash per second and uh, the way it works is you want to have this you know below a hundred percent because you might as well be on f2 pool or something along those lines um, I did kind of mess around a little bit with some settings and that didn't work really well <laughs> but uh, for consistent sake with a couple of f1s um, I am getting 75 percent which is a better overall than you normally would be mining so I'm pleased with that and I did a light cache video perhaps nobody could stand the microphone long enough to watch the entire thing but uh, there wasn't a lot of comments as far as a giveaway and I'd like to you know help support the community in that manner so if you like the new microphone uh, let me know also if you have any other content suggestions whether it's GPU or FPGA please uh, let me know what you'd like to see next and also if you have a favorite Brandon coin Voss coin or Red Panda mining video leave the title of the video in the comments along with your CKB address and by the next video I will uh, randomly select somebody and uh, be giving away a thousand CKB so Thank you. Uh, please subscribe and like, and we'll see you next video.